Hi, my name is Bailey and I'm here with the charlatan. If you're watching this, you're one of the few lucky people who still have power or you're hiding out on campus. Either way, we're here talking to students about how they're dealing with the Ottawa 2018 power outage. So what's the hardest part about dealing with the power outage? Uh, sadly enough, it's like being without Wi-Fi and not having like the connectivity that you usually do. Just not having Wi-Fi, I guess. Uh, but I guess the hardest part was the fact that because there's no electricity, I don't have any warm food or warm water at home. The most difficult part would be just using the internet in general because a lot of the homework in university requires kind of the internet to kind of look when the homework's due and all of that and just going on it uh, for spare time fun and amusement. Well that's the thing that there's not much to do so we just kind of been we have a lot of board games thank god so like we just play a lot of board games and we watched a movie on her laptop last night like all of us were just crowded around her laptop. <laughs> I guess I kind of went to like shopping malls in order to just spend some time outside the house because you can't really do anything inside the house when there's no internet really. And also just coming to school because there's Wi-Fi at the school that I can use to actually do homework and charge up some stuff. Is there stuff that you're going to have to, a lot of stuff you're going to have to throw out and like clean up and stuff? Yeah, I just did groceries yesterday before the power went out so most of that has to go. Do you have a lot of deadlines and stuff that are coming up that's kind of being thrown off by the power outage? Well, I was going to try to figure out what days my tests and midterms were yesterday, but the power outage struck, so yes. Were you prepared for, did you have? Not at all. Like, I don't have any, like, food that can just be eaten, like, without being heated up. And, like, I don't have flashlights or candles, so. Usually, even if there is, like, a tornado warning or, um, or an outage or whatever you expect it to be back in a few hours apparently it's gonna it might even take days this time so it's pretty big so i don't think anyone is prepared uh, so what do you think students should learn about uh this power outage and how to be prepared uh to have like supplies on hand like to have batteries and flashlights and candles so if you don't have light you have that and to also have food that you can eat that doesn't go bad or need to be cooked so they're not just stranded without food or light <laughs> 